Perla here. Um, welcome to my channel, Imperfectly Perfect. Don't mind me, I'm downstairs in the basement. That's why the background looks like this. Um, so I wanted to make a quick video. Um, this is going to be, I guess, part one of money issues. Um, dealing with narcolepsy with cataplexy. So I was um, financially um, getting to the point where I wanted to be. Sorry, guys. Just got to get the laundry in the washroom. And unfortunately, as much as I tried to prepare it, I couldn't... Um, I couldn't prepare for as long as I've been out of work. It's like, um, it's been about a year now. Now, um, I know there's a lot of things like on the internet and stuff about people saying, oh, I used to be on government assistance. I used to be on this, I used to be on that. You know, when they make a big or whatever, with whatever it is that they're trying to um, get you to work into or whatever it is, or how they, how you say, manifest it or whatever it is you know whatever so basically I guess this is a video to show you my struggles and um, basically to show the things that people are ashamed of I'm not gonna lie um, at first when I started um, when I had to apply for it um, when I applied let's say for food stamps the first time I was denied um, three times even though I was completely out of work and I when I applied the first time I had been out of work for um, ooh, almost fell, for about three for about three months and I was still denied um and you know I just kept on saying you know what it, it is what it's gonna you know it is what it is um so as of right now I have um section eight and I have I get food stamps now when people hear food stamps people probably think that I get like thousands of dollars because I have four kids I don't um we don't even get like half of what I used to spend on food um, when I used to buy food with you know my money or whatever but you know I feel like this is an experience that I have to go through at the moment because I am a very prideful person so God needs to needed to humble me a little because I'm not gonna lie I've always been a go-getter and I've always been like you know I'm gonna do whatever I have to do regardless of whatever I have to do to get the things that I want and to get to the point where I want to go. So this is where I'm at right now, financially not exactly where I want to be, but learning through the experience and learning to see how I can basically get myself out of this. Um, a lot of people, unfortunately, are in the mindset that, you know, oh, you can live off of assistance. I personally don't know how people do it for so long. I've been doing it for about half a year now, and it is not, it's not a pretty sight. And when I say a half a year is because, like I said, I was still managing things with my savings and my the money that I retreated from my 401k. So it, it's hard, and it's, it's, it, it challenges you as a person. It makes you doubt yourself. It makes you question yourself. But I think it also helps you, um, if you look, start looking at it from a different perspective, it allows you to, to grow and to realize that not everything can always remain the same and that in order for things to change, you need to change. You need to change your mentality. You need to change the way you look at things and the way you do things. And, you know, even though I do miss working as a nurse and i know that i can no longer do it as of right now at least until we find something that um that can actually work for me i i've decided to go down other roads or routes or whatever you want to call it so i am currently fighting um disability um i've been denied i was denied i appealed i was denied so now we are going to court i do have an attorney and you know, it's going to be another year before I can get in front of a judge. <laughs> a year. <laughs> another year. I mean, I guess I'm satisfied. Like, if it gets put through, like, you know, if it goes through or whatever, I'll be getting a decent amount. Not what I, not what I was making, obviously, but decent enough. But um, in the meantime, my brain just keeps going and going and going and going. Like, what are we going to do? And... We actually started already and i'm so excited and um hopefully in a couple of months i'll be completed with everything and i'll be able to post and move forward um like i said narcolepsy is here and it's here to stay and it's fine and 
you know, it's going to knock me down a couple of times. And every time it knocks me down, I get up a little faster. I get up a little quicker. Um, there are times that I feel like certain things do have to happen so that I can sit back and just reflect. Reflect on life, reflect on everything that's going on. But basically, is you guys are with you guys are on the journey with me. So a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, wherever I am at financially, wherever I am at spiritually or emotionally or whatever, you guys are gonna know that when I say, "Oh, I was on this. I did this. This is where I was at." It's not a lie because I'm starting my journey from where I am now, from where I am at now. I'm not starting my journey when I hit success. I am not starting my journey when I am, you know, spiritually where I want to be, emotionally where I want to be, and blah, 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 blah. I'm starting my journey now so that you guys can walk through the journey with me and hopefully get inspired and decide that, yeah, you know what? Narcolepsy sucks. Yes, financially, I'm not where I want to be. Yes this freaking crap just freaking sucks because nobody really understands that and people just view us as lazy and this and that but what am i going to do about it what am i going to change about my situation how can i change anything in my situation um where there's a will there's a way i've always said that and i may i may be limited with my driving as far as like distances i may be limited with the amount of hours that i can spend awake i may be limited with the amount of medications that i can take or the type of medications that i can take but there are other ways that i'm not limited in i i love reading i love researching i love learning and as long as i can continue on doing that I definitely feel that there is a place and there is something for me to do out there in the world that will allow me to start making income again um, and will allow me to get back to the place where I was or at least back on track to where I was. Um, I know I need to really work on looking at the camera while I'm talking. I just get very, 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 very nervous. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Anywho, so I guess this is part one. It is the humble truth. I am that type of person, like I get embarrassed. I used to get embarrassed when I used to have to go food shopping and had to use my food stamps car um, at the beginning um, because I was always thinking about what people were thinking about me or were going to say because I look so young and I don't look like I should be on it. I look like I should be working, <laughs> which is t definitely where I want to be. Um, having to budget on what I get is not easy before growing kids. It's definitely not easy. But, you know, that's why they have coupons. That's why they have sales. <laughs> um, so just because I get food stamps doesn't mean that I'm not clipping those coupons and, you know, buying things in bulk when they are on sale. You have to make the most of what you have. And that's what we're trying to do here. Now, thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. The more people that get to watch it, the more people we get to reach, and the more people we get to, I guess, learn about the struggles that we go through. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye.